For the past seven years, my wife and I have traveled all over the world in search of inspiring characters. When we discovered Facundo Jimenez of Cirque du Soleil fame, we knew we had found a special story to tell. As soon as you arrive to the tent, the tents have such a beautiful energy that no matter what you have in your head, when you come and see this tent, it's like pulling you, you know, to the show and pulling you to, the, to this beautiful circle. I play the comic at Cirque du Soleil Curious, and I'm the ringmaster and the clown of the show. I started playing as a clown when I was nine years old. And this character especially, I think is the hardest character that I play in my career. Each one of us, we have different perceptions of what can be a clown. And in my personal point of view, I feel that when I'm playing a clown, I'm playing my pure essence as a child. Ladies and gentlemen, bienvenue à Cirque du Soleil! In my first interview with Facundo about his career as a clown and his insightful philosophies, I felt like I'd found a kindred spirit. We made plans to have him teach a clown workshop with our creative team in preparation for shooting a kid's TV show pilot, Mr. Greenheart's Treehouse. A few weeks later, he arrived in my hometown of Austin, Texas. To welcome him to our circus family, I greeted him at the airport on stilts. For the next several days, we would be hosting a master of his craft and listening to his wisdom. At the age of eight years old, I received my first red nose. The clown nose represents for me the last mask of theater. I feel like any kind of art have an evolution. So I feel already I went deep to, to the philosophy of clown and taking those values those patterns, using it to, to represent a different way of presenting clown. And one of the most important points of being a clown is being exposed. They think they've been truly exposed, but always been hiding behind some characters. All right, let's get ready to start. No, go back. <laughs> One more time. Standing in front of your peers and not saying a thing, not doing a thing. But Facundo said uh, that phrase, he said, savor the silence. Because it's genuine, because it's you, because you're not preparing anything, it's just scamming. Yes. Throwing the sticks was so fun. It gave everyone that heightened sense. You're connected with your partner. And that will help you a lot in improvisations. Then the, the game can go anywhere. This experience was challenging, but in a very beautiful way. That kid, that inner child, we make it ours again. You don't play for them, you play with them. That's the difference. Facundo gave us a set of tools as actors to relate better to each other and amplify our essence onto the screen. I had taken a leap on the biggest original project of my life. Every clown is unique and you create an, an empathy with the audience. And that's when they start looking at you because they like you. With that energy of a kid being a clown, you can play with the volumes, the volumes of 
the texture, of the color, of, of, of the movement. So you can adjust that clown to play as a character. I'm okay with the fragility of being ridiculous and being funny, and I'm totally okay with that. Okay, Felipe, stay. The connection with the audience depends on how you play with the timing, how you play with the speed. Incredible. Performing as a clown, you can open portals, you can create things that people don't see. So you're opening their minds with imagination. Catching up with Facundo, it's become clear. His lessons extend far beyond the boundaries of the stage. Sometimes we forget to play. We forget that life is an adventure. And when you're a kid, life is an adventure. You can go to the park, and you can stay in your room and play with whatever you want. And everything is fun. I think that this is why we don't have to forget to play and forget to laugh and to see the normal things like the first time. Get surprised of the small things in life. That for me is, is beautiful. Facundo's philosophies have influenced the essence of our kids' TV show. We agree that life has more depth when we seek out play and use our imaginations. We'll never forget Facundo and the grand spectacle of Curios by Cirque du Soleil.